KA here, welcome to the do, 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 do. Hey, A here. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for watching. Today I'm going to share with you how to make sambal hitam fried rice. The main ingredient is sambal hitam rice. That's it. Other stuff in the video is just optional. Like the patai and the celery. It just happened to be in the fridge. So I cook it together with this fried rice and also the chicken. The patai is all wrinkly or pruny, just sitting there for weeks and weeks, so I just cook it. If you don't want that much ingredient in your nasi goreng, you don't have to put it. I like my nasi goreng full of ingredients. Some people don't like it, it's up to you. But remember, the main ingredient is sambal, hitam, and rice. Um, so, you can find this sambal hitam online. They sell it online uh, or at supermarket. I'm not sure because I never purchased the store one. My mom normally made it fresh because we have like years worth of stock of this belimbing hitam. So, this belimbing hitam made from belimbing bulu and in English it's called belimbi if I'm not mistaken. You need to cook this belimbing for sometimes until it turns black before you can make it into sambal hitam so this sambal hitam is famous in east coast of malaysia especially in pahang state if you have a chance to go to east coast try the sambal it's really tasty i eat it with everything with bread with instant noodle with rice you know as a condiment you know, cook, turn it into fried rice, turn it into fried noodles. When I don't have any other lao, I eat it with just hot rice. You know, it's it's a really great, simple sambal that really appetizing. Some people like it, some people don't like it. Then again, it also de de depends on your preference. I eat this sambal since I was young. And I'm familiar with it. I never buy the store-bought one because my mom always made it. But unfortunately, um, the sambal is already finished and my mom didn't make a new one. So you can see in the video, I made the sambal using the, the belimbing hitam, anchovies and, and chilies. If you want to see me making sambal hitam, you can leave a like to this video. Like 10 likes, 20 likes, I'll make it for you. How to how to make sambal hitam. So yeah, the rest of the ingredient is just optional. You don't have to put it. Normally, uh, you know, like I said, I made it with my mom. My mother pre-made sambal. We have my mom normally cook it in a large quantity and it lasts for two or three weeks. Um, but it's already finished, so I made it. Uh, so I made it in the simple, basic way, just to cook the nasi goreng today. So it's very tasty. It's, it's very yummy. If you wanna buy the sambal hitam, like I say, you can buy online okay um if you want to see how the process of making belimbing hitam i will leave an eye up above you can click the eye to see how it made to see the whole process from cleaning until it turned into belimbing hitam it's yeah and you know enjoy the video i don't know what i'm rambling about as usual if you like the video please leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel and if you eat and sambal hitam before share your comment down below whether you like it or not um see you next week with a new video a saying bye here